Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new let's play of Victoria 2 with the Pop Demand mod and the Concert of Europe sub mod. The Concert of Europe has been recently updated to version 2.0 which is uh, named Gloria and despite being a beta version I think it works actually very well. So if you saw my previous Siam let's play uh, this is a much more advanced version of the sub mod because I was playing on version I think like 1.4 and they incorporated a large amount of uh, extra sub mods and uh, they remade the technology tree, tweaked the AI and actually there's so much new stuff that we'll have to discover it together. Now as you probably already saw the title of this video there is no reason to hide uh, the fact that we're gonna play Argentina from you. Now it has been a very close call, Argentina had 42 votes, while Persia, which has been uh, switching places with Argentina there and back for some time, had 41. So it was really a close call, I was wondering uh, what it's gonna be. And they decided to draw the line at 150 votes and at 150 Argentina won with 32 and Persia had 41. It was followed by Sweden which had 26. Then there was the Ottoman Empire with 22 votes and the Netherlands with 13. The rest of the choices didn't get uh, many attention so I really think it was uh, basically either Argentina uh, Persia or Sweden and Sweden eventually uh, fall behind so yeah Argentina I'm glad that you chose that one because I think it's going to be very interesting but we'll have to be quite careful about what we do so Argentina is a civilized nation it's actually a republic it's 23rd uh, in the world which is not a bad start the biggest issue here is that we have only well 300,000 people nearly so that is a big issue here. We're also at war with Peru and Spain. I think Peru is a Spanish satellite, yeah. So we're at war with uh, Peru and Spain and we are allied with Bolivia, Chile and Paraguay. Chile is here, uh, Paraguay is here and I don't, I'm not I'm not sure where Bolivia is. I think this is Bolivia. It actually has to be part of Spanish South America. Uh, I'll have to see if there is something um, weird here going on. So well, uh, we are uh, actually at, at more with uh, a great power, yeah. Spain is 8th, it has the 10th strongest military in the world. We have 45th, Chile has 44th and uh, Paraguay has 44th. But I think that they're actually at war with, yeah, they're at war with Gran Colombia too. So they're fighting uh, in the south and in the north too. So that's something that we'll have to uh, build upon. Uh, I'm not sure how long this war is going to go for, uh, but I'm hoping that not for too long <laughs> because uh, it could very well ruin our economy. So uh, let's go ahead and play. So we're adapting history and here we go. Now as was um, mentioned in the Siam Let's Play, I kind of know this game in and out, uh, most of it anyway. Uh, I'm not familiar with the changes in the recent mod or most of them. But I'm not gonna, some of you sometimes get irritated that I do weird stuff, but I do it for roleplay reasons. So bear with me there, we're not trying to power play here most of the time anyway, we're just trying to chill and have um, a reasonable uh, game here like I'm not gonna tax my people into oblivion for most of the game and stuff like that so anyway let's look a bit closer about the, uh, at our situation uh, mostly I'm thinking about the war with uh, Peru so Peru has a very weak army it has only ranking of 8 it's ranked 47 uh, Chile is 46th. What's our ranking? Well, we have four. Okay, so I thought that we were doing good, but we're not. Now, what is this war all about? Um, we are at war. Okay, so as it seems like Paraguay is not part of this war. No, they're just allied with me. Okay. 
Would you join? And no, they would not join the war. Uh, so we're fighting uh, with Spain and Peru. Expedición Libertadora del Peru. So I can see that we're trying to liberate Peru. We want to... Peru is released, okay, and Bolivia acquires all states with core provinces. Ah, okay, so that's what we, this is all about. Um, I don't think we can see it here. Yeah, Bolivia is not released yet. I don't know why we are allied with it, but... Yeah, this entire territory should be Bolivia. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to, to get that, though, because the war score for that is... 68% oh my god that's uh, yeah so it's 10% for Peru is released but to get Bolivia out we would need 53 more so I don't think we'll be able to do that uh, maybe we'll be okay with just releasing Peru hmm, how is Peru doing it's an autocratic dictatorship we have no more goals on them. It's a bit weird. Uh, no way we can get Portugal, Brazil involved, right? Yeah, they have 20 relationship with us. Well, our basic goal is to get this entire area colonized and get, become a secondary power and start colonizing abroad. Uh, we would like the Falcon Islands. We would like South Georgia. And we would like... This is Easter Island, okay? and Tahiti and Tahiti so I would like those I don't think we'll be uh, able to actively colonize this but if this works the same way as uh, well Mexico in uh, game works you basically get free events that will give you the new provinces I'm hoping this is how it works here too because that way we would be able to advance other than that we would have to um, yeah, well, just stay here and wait. <laughs> so let's look at our production. Um, Peru, uh, sorry, Peru. Argentina is a fairly poor nation. Uh, the biggest issue here is that we have very low literacy for a civilized nation and not very much research points because of that. We'll be mostly getting uh, timber, wool, and cattle. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we can get maybe some copper and iron. I don't think we can get any coal, to be honest with you. Most of these provinces, yeah, they're giving us cattle, grain, and stuff like that. So we'll be heavily dependent on the production of our laborers. Uh, why? The reason is that with such a low uh, literacy, we wouldn't be able to get many factory workers. So building factories uh, in the beginning will probably not happen for us. Now I can see that we have some fruit, uh, we have some tropical wood, and some, oh, but, okay, capitalists are having the horses. Uh, build factories, no, oh, okay, so we can't even build factories at this point. So our geo technologies will be the most important for us in the beginning. Uh... Let's look at the technology so that we know what we're dealing with. Well, army-wise, we're not doing all that bad. We have uh, post napoleonic far. We have wing talk rifles. We have artillery. Though I don't think we actually have an artillery. I think we have... Yeah, we have two units of regulars and cavalry and two units of regulars. So four units of regulars and uh, one cavalry unit. We don't have the military staff system, though. That's a bit of an issue. And we don't have the army command principle. Uh, oh, they tweaked it. Okay, so there's no longer military tactics plus 100, but only 15%. You have stables, basic training here. Oh, another military tactics 10%. Uh, one thing that I really dig is that they added these levels. Once you get all of the technologies in uh, one technology level, you will get a bonus, like army 1 here, then there's army 2 here, when you get all of these. So that's new. And also you can see that they added a whole level of technology here. So we have 7 levels to go through now. The last one will be activated in 1920, so that's quite far ahead. Okay, navy-wise we are pretty screwed, we have only post-Nelsonian fought. Uh, we'll definitely need... 
some of these soon. There's a Cooper design, Naval Design Bureau, Commerce. Oh, no, no standard. Okay, so that is awful. Uh, we need the freedom of trade as soon as possible because that helps with education efficiency 25% and RGU throughput efficiency 20%. So that is absolutely a uh, bitch in for us. So we need this. Because 4,411. You know, I'm kind of thinking that the army command principle might be good too. Okay, culture is nice. We have a classicism and early romanticism, enlightenment philosophy. And the rights of men. We don't have the introspectionism. And we don't have the Malthusian thought. Uh, which will be kind of good for us. Uh, population growth enclosure that helps with cattle and wool. Uh, regional forest that helps with timber. Sunday school. So this is another very important technology for us. Malthusian thought. And industry, yeah, basic chemistry, one of uh, my favorite, gives a uh, bonus to growth of your people. Mechanized mining also would be very important for us. Uh, and publishing industry, yeah, too. Uh, what does industry want to do? Oh, it gives population growth and RGU throughput. Mm, okay. Practical steam engine, though, is something that I would kill for because it gives some of the best things for us, though I'm kind of thinking that we might not be able to get that uh, soon enough. Aren't you through for 20%? So what I think is we're gonna start with freedom of trade, uh, then we're gonna go with interest... no, Malthusian thought. So there's freedom of trade, Malthusian thought, and then basic chemistry and mechanized mining, or vice versa. Malthusian thought, uh, I usually would start with basic chemistry, uh, but here we really need to get the 20% boost to our uh, life. So let's start with freedom of trade immediately. So we have a possibility here. We can enact the rights of man. A recognition has begun among our people of the basic fundamental rights that all humanity shares. This is the first step in becoming a truly modern civilization. Okay, let's get that. Increases prestige. And now let's look. We have Partido Federal, uh, which is a conservative party. It promotes free trade. Oh, okay, so it promotes interventionism. So we can build factories anyway. Moralism. Residence and Jingoism. Uh, there's Partido Unitario, which is the Liberals. Okay. And then there's Partido Reactionary. State Capitalism, Protectionism, Moralism, Residence and Jingoism. Uh, I'm not happy with those, but okay. So, good. Uh, that's uh, the production and that's the technology. How's our budget doing? Drink your tea. Okay, so we're earning about 8 and we're spending about 15. Great. <laughs> that is just fucking awesome. Um, we'll have to let it run for a bit to, to you know, uh, get where we are. Okay, so this is exactly what I was talking about. We have so many, so many regions and only one of them in any other country, this would be scarcely populated. So, Argentinian Buenos Aires uh, is... Oh, actually, this is the entire territory, and we have only three of that. So, this will... Wow, there's like actually a lot of these coming to that. Patagonian... Hmm... Well, let's put uh, the focus in here. We're gonna encourage clergymen. And encourage clergymen here. One thing that they, I know they tweak is that your literacy is now much harder to increase. So I need to see how that works. We have a very high administration though. It's pretty good. Uh, so population is set. When we look at the overall yeah, most of our people are farmers, then some artisans, some laborers, some soldiers, clergymen, and aristocrats. We have no capitalists. I think we can't even have them, um, because... 
We have two little withdrawals. I think we can encourage capitalists from like 10% withdrawals, eh? Yeah, okay, so we can't even encourage those. Interesting, we're Kefal like, but we have some animist people. Um, can someone explain to me? Is there like a religion here? No. Hold on, who are the animist people? And where do they live? Oh, come on, we have so many pops. Okay, so these guys are Guarani. Mapuche. So these are like Indians, I guess. To command animist. To command an Anako. Oh, they live everywhere. To command. Here's Renako. To command is here. Yeah, so, so these are scarcely spread people uh, with their original uh, religion. Nationality, we have mostly Putinian, uh, some Creole, Guarani, uh, Mapuche, and Brazilian. Okay, so Putinian is our uh, biggest, biggest uh, nationality or the primary culture. Dominant issues, we're not gonna deal with that. We'll have elections soon, so we'll see that anytime. Trade, where uh, that one will fix itself once we start the game. Diplomacy, we are at war with uh, Spain. I don't think they would. Yeah, they would not accept this offer anyway. Military. Uh, okay, so we have two units. We can build any. Uh, we have like two armies, one with three uh, brigades and one with two brigades, so we'll uh, merge them. If we mobilize our people, we could get all the way to four extra infantry units, but that would cripple our economy. So yeah, uh, this is basically all set. Uh, we have seen what lies ahead of us. And in the next episode, which will be actually... Uh, Starting the game, uh, we'll see if we can win this war. I'm gonna probably try to bail out of it uh, once Peru is released, because I really think Peru would do well if it was released quickly and we improved our relations with them and had them like a northern ally. Uh, Bolivia is big enough for them to have an actual... Yeah, they don't even have a cores on these territories, so... Uh, they'll probably revolt on their own, so there is no need for us to get involved in that shit. And getting like a six day on Spain would be that, that's insane. We would we would need to take this entire area, and in the meantime, Spain would send uh, all of their armies on us. So yeah, this is the basic, and in the second episode, we'll actually start playing.